Hello friends, welcome to module 4 of Collapse. Here we shall see another case. This is the case number 3. So given to use a radiograph, you can pause for a moment and look carefully to find out anything which is strikingly abnormal. So going by the algorithm, I'm scanning through the lung fields. Yes, I've seen a pathology. Where is it? It's somewhere located here. And what is the pathology like? It is an opacity. So we have a pathology in the form of an opacity, a triangular opacity. Now let's localize where is it. For this, we are going to apply the silhouette sign. Now, applying the silhouette sign, can you make out the right heart border? Yes, I can make it out. What about the diaphragm? Mm, no, I cannot make out the diaphragm. Only the far lateral end of the diaphragm can be made out. So the shadow is merging with the diaphragm. So this is located in the right lower lobe. Now we have to characterize the opacity and then look at the ancillary features. So our primary consideration is to initially differentiate it between consolidation and collapse and both are cases of what non-aerated lung parenchyma and for collapse the volume is lost and for consolidation the volume is preserved. So let's see regarding the lung volume. By initial look itself, what is striking? The right hemithorax appears smaller as compared to the left. Visually itself, it is striking. So that's one point favoring reduced volume. Now we are going to look at other features. Can you see the bowing of trachea and deviation to the right side? It means the right side is pulling it. So there is some volume loss. And finally, I'm going to look at the hilum. So I can see the left hilum pretty clearly. What about the right hilum? So I'm saying that it is partially obscured. For comparison, I'm giving you the normal radiograph. What you can see here, you can see that the right hilum is pretty much seen. The right descending pulmonary artery is strikingly seen clearly. But what happened here? Here it is not so visible. It means that it is pulled down here. And yet again, if you were to look at the opacity clearly, I can make out a sharp lower margin, lateral margin. So this is nothing but the displaced major fissure. Displaced major fissure. So summarizing the direct and indirect signs of collapse, yes, I've got loss of aeration. I've got displacement of the fissure. Where is it? It is over here. And I've got crowding of bronchovascular structure. That is why you're not able to see anything here clearly. And basically you can see that the descending pulmonary artery has been pulled down and it's not clearly seen. Now coming to uh, indirect sign, signs, elevation of the ipsilateral hemidiaphragm. I cannot clearly make it out in this case because the diaphragm is obscured here. And then there is its lateral shift of medial strain. That is definite. Why? I've seen the trachea shifting to right side. Then I've got hyla displacement too in the form of pulling down of inferior or sorry descending pulmonary artery. So I've got most of this criteria satisfying the right the collapse, collapse of the right lower lobe. So friends, this is the classic appearance of right lower lobe collapse. So coming to case three. Keeping the previous case in mind, I said pattern recognition is very important. In the initial stages, you have to go by step-by-step -step algorithm. And now I know that right lower lobe collapse looks like a triangular density involving the right lower lo lower zones with added features already mentioned. Now applying the same algorithm to left, what will you expect in left lower lobe collapse? You expect again a triangular density in the left lower zone. So look carefully in the figure. What do you see? Okay, right, mm, pretty much okay. Left, in initial scan, it may appear normal, but there comes the importance of the hidden areas. In the hidden areas, we know that heart is one of the hidden area, the retrocardiac area. What do you see here? Can you make out an opacity here? Yes, there is an opacity here. So that is the region of left lower lobe collapse. 
it's very important in initial first look if you're not familiar with it you will definitely miss it so that is the importance of stepwise analysis of chest radiograph go by algorithm and once you're finished go for your review areas so retro cardiac area is an important review area so to summarize this is the case of right lower lobe collapse and this is a case of left lower lobe collapse keep this picture in mind this triangular density and this retrocardiac triangular density i hope it's all clear about case 3 which highlights the importance of lower lobe collapse